Hello everyone, and welcome to the mid-January flyover of the Gordie Howe Bridge. The construction of the Gordie Howe International Bridge is well underway, with significant advancements being made. The two bridge decks are expected to be connected in the late spring or summer, marking a pivotal moment in the project's timeline. This iconic structure, with its elegant design and timeless features, is a symbol of unity and progress between the U.S. and Canada. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay in touch for new updates. Let's get started. Following the bridge's completion in September, the first vehicles are expected to cross the Gordie Howe Bridge in the fall of 2025. The opening date was originally set for November 2024, with substantial monetary penalties for each day beyond the deadline. The Canadian government is waiving the penalties and the cost of the extra $700 million. Comments from subscribers vary from acceptance to conspiracy on the recent news of the delay in the opening and the $700 million price increase. Check the comments in the video, Bad News from the Gordie Howe Bridge, on this channel if you want to read them. The construction of the Gordie Howe Bridge project has faced several challenges leading to slowdowns and delays. Following are the reasons I found. As an international project, the building team had to navigate two different sets of restrictions from both the US and Canada. The project team raised more than 40 supervening events, notices, and there are 11 formal disputes that have caused delays. The Michigan side cited the largest area of concern as the design of the newly created interchange with the I-75 freeway on the Detroit side. The project believes the siphon designs provided by the WDBA, the Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority, are not complete, which have led to significant delays, and as well as utility conflicts around the interchange have also stalled construction. The pandemic caused significant disruptions, cost escalations, rising interest rates, a shortage of supplies and materials, a province-wide strike by crane operators and carpenters, and other factors contributed to the delay and cost issue. Despite these challenges, the project has made significant progress and the bridge is now expected to open in the fall of 2025, albeit 10 months late and $700 million short. Once completed, Gordie Howe Bridge will play a vital role in transforming transportation and shipping industries between the two countries, fostering economic growth for generations to come. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Are the delays and price increase justified or not? 
That's all for today's update on the construction of the Gordie Howe Bridge project. Stay tuned for more exciting progress in the coming months. Thank you for watching and remember to like and share and subscribe to catch the next update. This is Bob Jones and I will see you in the next video.